So the question put to me was, do Class D amplifiers use toroids in their power supplies? This question comes from Greg Baylor in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Well, Greg, the type of transformer found in a Class D amplifier doesn't really matter when we're talking about the power supply. So the power supply could be batteries, it could be a toroidal transformer or uh, an IE standard core transformer. Really doesn't matter. We just need to get DC voltage into a class D amplifier. Now at the output of a class D amplifier, obviously there are filters. Well, I don't know if that's obvious actually. Sorry about that. <laughs> if you know how they're designed, you know it's got a big filter on the output because there's a lot of switching noise on a class D amplifier. So we want to get rid of that switching noise so we just have pure audio left over. And when we do that, we use an inductor or a piece of round uh, iron, which is, you could use the square ones, the IEs, but typically we use what we would call a toroid or it's actually an inductor. But anyway, we're not getting into that. So <clears throat> we don't have, we use everything here. We use toroids for power supplies. But I want to show you the difference and I, uh, I'm going to pull out this test jig that we have here and hold it up so you can see. This little round guy here, that's a toroid. And even though it's an audio transformer, this is an IE, uh, and this is what it would look like if it were doing power or audio. See how it's kind of square, and this one's kind of round, okay? So those are the two, oops, don't want to lose that, basic types of power transformers that we use. And as a reminder, the power transformer transforms the AC voltage from the wall using windings and the magnetic field and two coils into isolated AC on the other, on the output end of the transformer and at the appropriate voltage. So we maybe have 120 volts coming in and maybe we want 40 volts coming out. And that's all done in the transformer, whether it's an IE, the square guy, or in a toroid. Now the reason we use toroids at PS Audio as most modern manufacturers do. They're a little more expensive, but they have a much tighter magnetic field so they don't interfere in the equipment and they're much more efficient. So, okay, a little, little lesson on transformers there and the answer to your question. Thanks for asking. Okay, talk to you tomorrow.